Hey, it's Daryl as a service. I want to let you know about a change to Microsoft uh, Viva Connections and how it's working within Microsoft Teams. Um, if your organization is using Viva Connections, it, it can bring in your intranet and your home page. Uh, but what is changing is a out of the box simplified experience for uh, sharing the Viva Connections experience or the Viva Connections page. Um, so just as a quick look here, this is what it does look like within Teams. Uh, and we'll step our way through that, but we're going to also go back and see what is uh, changing for those of you who are using Viva Connections. Something that you may need to have made a change before November. So as a quick look at the message center. Uh, Mr. Center let us know about the change. Uh, it was announced at uh, um, Microsoft Ignite, uh, letting you know that this out-of-box experience is uh, to help the organizations uh, who may not have set up Viva Connections, but have access to Viva Apps to start seeing them in a simplified way within your uh, Microsoft Teams experience. However, for those who have set it up, um, there's the question around, well, what's going to happen to our home site that we've put all our work into? Um, so this message sent a message. Uh, it was sent out on uh, close to Microsoft Ignite, uh, has had a couple of updates, um, and it talks about a PowerShell command that you can run to select your experience. Do you want this out-of-box experience or do you want your home site? Um, so if you already have Viva Connection set up, um, then either way, it's going to pre-populate things like cards and, and um, other content that might appear in the Viva Connections feed. Um, and uh, the home experience uh, will actually appear uh, and be part of that out-of-box experience, but you, get, you should choose really as an organization what you want first. So let's have a look at um, an example over in my demo environment, so here's uh, my current experience with Viva Connections. Um, I haven't received this update yet, um, but what we expect to see in the next week or so, uh, because it started on the 17th of January, uh, was that the Viva Connections app will uh, then begin to, to display the new uh, simplified experience of Viva um, shortcuts, the dashboard, and the newsfeed. Uh, so my choice needs to be if I want to keep uh, this experience for my people uh, to use a PowerShell command to choose that as my default experience. But what does the new experience look like? So we're in Teams and uh, this is the Viva Connections app that I've uh, chosen. Uh, and as a uh, first click, um, I'm starting to see, I guess, a simplified wrapped up experience of here's the apps that are available to me, here's my dashboard, uh, a bit further down uh, the resources menu and frequent sites. And if there was any news in this demo tenant, then the Viva feed would fill up there with news and potentially Viva Engage posts. So that uh, is useful for organizations that uh, may not have stepped through creating a home site. Sometimes they don't have a home site um, and maybe they want that simplified experience of just bringing access to the apps. Uh, but we do find that uh, a number of orgs have put some hard work into their, their home site. Uh, they have had an intranet for some time. Uh, they also have taken the steps to bring in Viva Connections uh, content, uh, such as the dashboard and the feed. Now, one of the advantages here of the, um, uh, the app as it comes out of the box and the change that's happening is that it does give you a simplified, quick access to the apps that are part of your Viva Suite. So if you're an organization that uh, is subscribing to maybe one, two or uh, of the apps or the full suite, then uh, you'll see those available here. I could click into learning and um, go straight into that app there too. Now, you notice too that the Viva Learning app is also available on the app rail, uh, so it does um, jump to the app as that experience within Microsoft Teams. Um, so we'll go back over to our Viva Connections. And that first run experience um, out of the box, that's quite a useful feature. Uh, if you uh, want to configure up some dashboard cards that are going to be useful to your people so that you get prompts of uh, various things from different systems, there are some cards that are out of the box that are available. 
uh, and they will talk to Microsoft um, services. Um, there are uh, the ability to create your own cards and uh, to varying different capabilities. Uh, sometimes they can just be shortcuts and sometimes they could be um, more integrated. So even from here, uh, if I didn't have an intranet site, then I could go in and edit this dashboard. I get taken through to the page where I can set up my cards and I can start creating cards and shuffling things around targeting them to different audiences so that they only appear for certain people and um, I can get into that. Uh, so if we go back to our home site, or rather the Viva Connections out of the box experience, I'm not sure what else to call that, um, but we've got our dashboard and uh, down here with uh, resources and frequent sites, uh, what can we edit there? Uh, we can edit the, the resource menu, uh, which is effectively the global menu. If you have gone through um, as an organization, set up Viva Connections, then this is your global menu that will appear um, on the mobile experience for Viva Connections and across the, the different sites where you have the global menu uh, visible. It's also available um, as a second click on the Viva Connections app. Uh, so this is a, a good way to um, make sure that common navigation is available wherever you are in your organization and across Microsoft Teams. And that same menu is right there. Um, the frequent sites and followed sites, that's uh, going to be based on my activity uh, of what I'm visiting and what I have chosen to follow. And then feed, of course, which we don't have a demonstration there, but they're news cards, they're um, engage conversations as well and uh, potentially uh, a card there for a stream video if you're using that as a type of news. So um, that is the new out-of-box experience but again what about these organizations that might have gone to all of that effort to set up their intranet site? Well as I said earlier uh, you will need to make a choice of what your first experience will be for people when they click on the Viva Connections App. Is it going to be this as a landing page with uh, really quite a, a focus on the Viva applications, uh, the dashboard and the feed, or are you going to go for the more customized home page that you might have created? Note this though, it is available up here in the top right hand corner. So if you are an organization that has configured this, but you haven't yet run the PowerShell command to make it the default choice, then even as this arrives, people will be able to get to that home site. So consider that in your change communications if you're letting people know what's going to happen, uh, or if you're starting to get calls at your help desk about what's going on, um, then you can guide them through to that home page, um, and it's up here in the right-hand corner. So let's click on that. Um, as we go through to it, there is the home site that I have configured and I've put the effort in. Uh, now, I think in this demonstration, I hadn't, oh no, yes, so we have added the dashboard um, and we've got company news. So this is what we might be used to seeing and what we've put our effort into to create. Um, and so if you want that to continue to be your default experience, set it a few times now, configure that PowerShell command. Um, and you'll, I'll put the link in the description to, of where to find that. Um, but hopefully this has helped to illustrate that change that, that may be happening, you might not have taken that step, and you're wondering why this new experience happens when people click on Viva Connections. I want to show you something interesting though. It is relatively new, so there are still some things that kind of don't operate the way I would expect. Let's say that I was uh, going into Teams, um, doing a bit of teamwork, uh, going into my calendar, etc., and then I, I decide to go back to Viva Connections it remembers the last choice that I made. So it's not going back to that previous uh, home, simplified home page that, that we created. So even if you have chosen to keep that, then it's actually going to um, uh, still load up that home page if you've clicked through to that full home page. So interesting kind of behavior, maybe that might change, might be due to caching or something locally on the machine. But that's, uh, that's the experience there. So, I mean, all I did to, to get back to that previous state, I did um, refresh. Yeah, and there we go. 
So it's all about whether you've refreshed your session or whether you have um, clicked in and clicked around various apps and come back. You know, what is it? What is it remembered in terms of your chosen page? So I do encourage you to go back over to uh, the message center to check out that information. That was uh, message MC447338. I'll also put a link in the description about the PowerShell command that it mentions. And um, yeah, make that choice uh, because maybe you want to give this simplified experience to people and teams, or maybe you want them to see your full homepage and, and all the glorious stuff that you've put in there that's quite vis visible and um, eye-catching and uh, definitely about optimizing with a lot of uh, a lot of choice and a lot of customization. So that was Daryl as a service uh, bringing you a slightly longer message but a, a, an exploration too of the change in Viva Connections, helping you make some choices and helping you to consider what you might need to tell your people in terms of change. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.